What do you think the uh, citizens of Ohio need to know about your education plan? Well, they need to know that we're not just tinkering with education in Ohio. We want to transform education in Ohio. We want to make sure that Ohio uh, embraces a constitutional system of funding our schools. We want to make sure that our children have access to a 21st century curriculum. We want to make sure that we change the way we assess our students to make it more rational and reasonable, um, more broad-based. We want every student to take the ACT test before graduating from high school. We think that would be aspirational. States that have done this have seen a significant increase in the number of young people who've applied for college admission. Um, we want to improve teacher training. Um, we want to establish a four-year residency for new teachers. Um, and uh, we want to make sure that uh, education remains the top priority in Ohio, even in these difficult economic times when we are facing unprecedented economic challenges. We want to make sure that we continue uh, and, and improve the provision of uh, quality education for our kids. We keep the college affordable for our young people. It's the only hope. I've said that an economic revival must be, uh, must be preceded by an educational revival. And so what we're trying to do is say to the people of Ohio, uh, the most important thing that we can do for the future economic well-being of our state and our people is to educate our young people and our, our students. And in order to do that, we must be committed to having uh, an approach to education that is appropriate for the 21st century. In addition to learning the basic core subjects like math and science and English uh, and the technology skills, we also need to make sure that our young people are able to communicate effectively, uh, ha have experience in problem-solving activities and are uh, encouraged to be creative and innovative uh, in, in, in the way they uh, approach life and approach problems. Um, we believe that we have put forth a plan that will make Ohio uh, a leading state uh, in terms of the quality of education that our students are provided, uh, as well as uh, an appropriate funding system that will take pressure off of our local property taxpayers and have the state, over time, assume an increasing uh, greater share uh, of the total cost of education. So that's for elementary and secondary education, but we also understand that college must be affordable. When I became governor, Ohio had experienced 10 straight years of tuition increases, which averaged 9% each year for 10 straight years. Ohio had become 47% more costly than the national average for one of our young people to attend one of our public colleges or universities. That was intolerable. And so we have frozen tuition in the current budget for two years. And at all of our campuses, we will have a freeze for three years. And in the fourth year, our major campuses will be able to have a tuition increase of no more than 3.5%. I don't think another state in America is doing as much as Ohio is now doing to try to hold down the cost of college tuition. And so these are major initiatives, and I'm asking the people of Ohio to get behind me and to support these efforts. If they do, we will be successful, and we can look back upon this time and be glad that we did what was right for our kids.